Hi, welcome to the interior tour of our almost mint condition 1966 Airstream Overlander International. It was born in Jackson Center, Ohio and purchased new in North Carolina by a couple named the Sykes. That's the rock guard that you're looking at. We will be replacing it soon. And those are not original propane tanks. Uh, we had to buy them new. That was the screen door that you saw that is original to the trailer. That's the interior view. This is the International Series, which means it's got walnut trim, uh, walnut veneer, and we've got the original um, invoices, receipt. That's the original floor. It's asbestos tile, and it was too chipped, so we replaced the flooring with marmoleum. It's a click plank flooring. It's eco-friendly, um, a little pricey, but very nice, and we stuck with an original color scheme. That is another view of the walnut veneer. It's a very pretty color. That's the uh, dinette that you're looking at now it does come out there's a leaf that's inside tucked away in there and it makes a very large table coming to about half the length of the gaucho where my hand is you have to wrestle with it just a little bit but it works great and those are not original curtains um, I had to redo all the fabrics that's the original fabric that came on the gaucho or the pull-out bed um, I couldn't find anything that was similar, so I went with a similar color. The original fabrics um, were a printed brocade for the seat and the toilet, and then solids for the curtains. There you are looking at the original siding um, and original lamps, and everything works. Uh, those lamps run off a 12-volt battery. Those are the overhead bins above the gauchos. They open up by pulling on them. They have a little bracket that keeps them in place and that's how you close them down. The clock probably isn't original, but we will be restoring it. There's two bins above the gaucho. That's a ceramic heater. It cook, uh, sends out really good heat, so we're not gonna replace that, and that's another set of original lamps. That's um, another curtain lined in blackout fabric. What you're looking at there is not original. It is the replacement for what used to be a, an upholstered arm. We decided that we wanted to have a little ledge to put our coffee cups on. And also the plus there is that this space underneath is where we store our uh, liquor bottles when we're traveling um, or any like, you know, just an upright, tall, skinny cylindrical object can be placed there. And you don't have to worry about them falling down. We lined everything in foam so that it doesn't clank. It's got a little divot, a little notch, and it fits perfectly right there where that aluminum trim is. I just gotta wipe that down. Everything in here is buttoned up for the winter time. I'm just showing you a, a quick tour. This is a view of the galley. This is the curb side of the galley. There are two pantry sliding doors there that you'll see. This is our magazine rack, and I've got some vintage trailer magazines. Command strip hooks for leashes um, and keys. That's my centerpiece, because you have to have a traveling centerpiece for your dining table. Original Dometic refrigerator in a wood veneer front. It works very well, it's very cold. Butter dish, the racks there. These are two containers I purchased at Home Goods. They're great for rolling fruits to keep everything in place and not sliding around. That's the freezer. I'll show you the freezer inside in just a second. There's a pin that keeps the door shut when you're traveling. Don't forget to do that or you're gonna have a mess on your hands when you stop. And uh, you'll see your fruits and milk and everything else on the floor. That, again, is a small refrigerator, I'm sorry, a small freezer compartment, but you know, it's fine for a weekend. This is an original Magic Chef oven. It had not been used in at least 12 years. I had to clean um, at least you know, 25 years worth of dust in there. And it works great. We tested it. This is the right-hand side slider. That's the left-hand side slider. That's towel racks. You can put your towels in there that are your hand towels, uh, and it'll warm it up if you're running your propane to um, keep your refrigerator cool. It makes uh, an exhaust, and it keeps it warm in there. That is my Melamine Vintage Boonton Wear Dish Set. Just showing you that. And that's thermostat, water pump switch. That's my other dishware. It's also the same Boontonware turquoise. I chose melamine so it wouldn't break while traveling. However, those are real wine glasses. Um, I found them at the Dollar Tree, and those are koozies that I made to keep them from rattling into one another when you're traveling.
I'm showing you there the thermostat, the water pump switch. I think that's an original thermostat. And the water pump is when you're boondocking and you need to pump water into your system. That does a nice job of sending the water directly from your tank into your sinks. That's a cigarette lighter. We don't use it. Um, so we plug in a USB cord and you could see the USB port on new electrical switch. Eventually we'll, we'll move everything to white switchery. That's my Magic Chef original propane three burner stove. It works wonderfully. We used it exclusively this past weekend when we were camping in Massachusetts because it was too cold to go outside. So um, it cooks out uh, nice heat um, very quickly. This is our pull out cutlery section, um, knives and forks in the top, utensils in the second one and linens in the third. Underneath all that is a bin where I keep some pots and pans and plastic bowls for salad, etc. This is underneath my sink, my cleaning supplies, plastic bags, aluminum foil, and then my dish strainer, which collapses. It's a great one. Modern convenience there. It's a little trash bag holder. The original furnace, which does work. We use the ceramic one that I just showed you quickly. This is just a view of one of the windows above of the uh, living area. It used to, I think it used to be opening up, but it doesn't anymore. And that's our light three-way light system that's original and you can get replacements for those lids uh, or the covers rather. That was a Humphrey heater, original, um, well probably not original to the trailer but definitely to the period. That's a vent, not original but to the period. Two overhead bins above the sink and two overhead bins above the pantry as you saw. That is not an original faucet but those are original um, the original sink and the original sink covers. That's great for um, extra counter space. And also when I'm traveling, sometimes I'll put stuff inside there and the lids keep everything nice and neat inside. It's uh, cutting board material underneath, but I wouldn't use that. Wouldn't recommend using that. Again, two whole sink. I'm showing you now the woodwork on the side. That um, metal bar is magnetic and that's a piece of steel and I put magnetic tins on there for my spices. Fits nicely. That's a soda um, or a bottle opener that we got from Avery's Beverages in Connecticut. Really cool, they make their own beverages from um, you know, more or less natural ingredients, cane sugar as opposed to fru fructose syrup. Um, and that's a view of the back, the twin beds and the bathroom. This also came in a full bed model with a closet on the curb side or the left side as you're looking at your screen right now. What you're looking at is the bathroom and the two twin beds. That's my uh, divider curtain. That would have come with an accordion plastic curtain, but I didn't care for that. And if I was going to replace it, I was going to replace it with something nice. Um, our trailer did not come with it. This is velvet. I bought a curtain with a blackout panel and I just cut it to size. I hung the pom-pom fringe on it. I bought that snap tape and the rail and this rail system here as well, plus these tabs and the elastics from Vintage Trailer Supply. They've been wonderful. We got replacement glass windows for our trailer that we installed also from them. And um, you just sew everything on there and install the railing and it works by sliding across for privacy when you're changing. Or when you wanna go to sleep, you can um, divide the two areas. What you're looking at is the left and the right hand side of the trailer um, into my yard and I'm showing you also on the bottom of the screen you can see the the quilted uh, vinyl liner. It's like a comfort liner I think it's called. It's quilted and it's a little bit of padding there in case you bump into the walls. These are not original to this particular trailer. They are, they are Airstream lights from 1966 um, and I got them off eBay. I found a, a seller who was selling a pair and they needed to be our, uh, what we bought was not original to the trailer. So we removed them, replaced them. That's a cubby. Um, you would put your books, maybe your cell phones and radios now. Curtains made by me. They are not blackout because my kids sleep back there and I don't need them sleeping any longer than normal. What you're looking at now are two overhead bins above each bed and that, that's lots of storage. Those are mattresses, not original, but they are nice and thick and very comfortable. And I'm showing you the um, wooden, the doors. Underneath each door, um, there are two pull-out bins. And so there's a total of three on each side or six drawers with 12 bins that pull out. 
Um, actually, 10 bins, excuse me, one of those drawers doors does not have bins. It's for bigger storage. Um, the idea is that you take this bin inside, you pack up all your stuff, and you bring it back out. And when you finish your trip, you take it inside and unload. Airstream was really using their head back in the day. Nowadays, they give you some clear uh, Sterilite container that you can find anywhere at Target, but these are exclusive. We keep the doors bungeed while we're traveling um, because inevitably one of them will come undone and will slam on the ground. And that's the marmoleum click plank flooring that you're seeing. That is a, a, a cheap Dick's cot that we bought for $40. That um, goes when we're traveling with seven people, which we always do. We put that one down by the gaucho. And then um, my husband, what I'm showing you now is my husband made a suspending bunk system using the, these brackets. There's six points. Four, um, okay, so two underneath the bins, two in the ceilings at the rib points, and these are at the rib points too, but on the sides. So six points on each bunk, and there are two bunks, and we hang them from the ceiling with chains, and they're rated for about 120 pounds. My kids weigh less than that, so that's where they sleep. This is the bathroom. The brown sink is not original to the trailer, but the sink style is. We'll be painting that white to match everything else in the spring. This is an overhead bin in the bathroom for small things, and then a long closet. It just got a bar in there. You can hang hangers. Currently, I'm using that for my um, extra chairs and my vacuum cleaner. I have a portable propane, excuse me, a portable fire pit in there. Um, and you can see my broom and some extras in there. That's the bathtub. Everybody ought to have a bathtub in their trailer. Um, I won't be using it, but we do use that for storage. And that is a uh, tower of toilet paper. I bought that from a Home Goods because um, I wanted to keep everything on the floor if I could, and I just keep it that way, rubber banded, so it doesn't fly around and move while we're traveling. Now, this would have had a bench seat all the way across where my finger's pointing. Um, unfortunately, that had to be replaced by the previous owners, so now there's a modern toilet in there. It would have had a bench, like I said, with brocade fabric on the lid of the toilet seat. That has all been redone, not by choice, that's a roller blind that I made. It's gold. It's kind of hard to see in this in this angle, but um, it is gold to go with the gold touches throughout. And there's some rickrack trim. It slides very well up and down. What you're looking at now is a mirror. It tucks into place on the end wall, um, and then when you need it to brush your hair, brush your teeth, it comes down. And that's just a bin that I've found at the Dollar Tree. It's like a refrigerator bin. Um, it's great for these narrow spaces. It holds all your toiletries there. That's the shower head. That um, towel holder is not original to the trailer, but it is original to the period. That one's missing its metal ring. I'll replace it eventually. A toothbrush holder. And what you're about to see is the original curtain. You open it up, you hook it up to that um, there's a hook right there and it keeps all the water from falling on the floor. Now this is the right hand side of the trailer as you're watching your screen. Those are original cabinets. Those are melamine, uh, white melamine finish that's not been painted. That's original. And it opens up with these cute latches which are apparently the only year that Airstream used that particular latch. Behind the door you'll see our coffee maker, dog food bowls, the fuse box and other just general junk pull out bin there. On the right hand side is my towels and linens and in the space bag are two goose down comforters. Um, again, I routinely sleep seven so I have lots of bedding in here tucked away. That is our um, not pink flamingo but gold flamingo. I do gold. What I'm showing you now is the door. There's a wood veneer door um, to match the cabinetry. It's got those great marine latches and it gives you a degree of privacy when you're changing. Definitely you can't see through it. Um, that is our closet on the opposite side, and that's got two folding chairs, a very long Presto mat, 16 by 9. It's mesh woven fabric that hoses out. That's an Italian drying rack that works great because it hangs off the gate of our pickup truck, our tow vehicle, and you can dry all your wet towels on that if it's sunny outside. Here's a view of the fantastic fan and the air conditioning system. Final view of the interior. Thank you so much for watching this long video. We do travel all the time, so travel with us. Travel with the polkas. Subscribe to our channel if you like what you saw, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.